Hi parents, this is Erin Annie. I'm the Librarian Site Technology Facilitator at Glen Oaks High School and I'm here to give you a quick little tutorial about how to get in a Google Classroom with your child. Uh, if you're not using like a district Chromebook, then your best bet is to go to the Google homepage um, where you'd usually start a search with Google. And mine is already open because the device I'm on, but yours might be closed. So up here, just like if you were going to have a Gmail account and you're going to log in, you're going to come up here. Uh, this is called by, jokingly called by a lot of people the waffle. Click on the waffle and you're going to use the full username and password sent to you by your teacher. Now I happen to be logged in and notice mine says emurray at ebrschools.org. You need the ebrschools.org to make this work on something like a desktop or a laptop. Uh, they have most of a Google account. Um, it, they do not have Gmail unless they're 11th or 12th. But we are concerned with Google Classroom. Okay, we'll go to Waffle, we'll click on it, and Classroom is the one that looks like a little chalkboard. Uh, ignore all of my Google Classrooms. I am the owner or um, the student in a lot of them, but I have a little demo classroom once it comes up. And here's my demo, so I'm going to click on this one. And mine has an extra one because mine has where, you know, as a teacher, um, it has grades. But you'll have stream, you'll have classwork, and you'll have people. Uh, or you should. People will tell you about your classmates. Stream, if any of you are familiar with Facebook, it acts very similar as your teacher puts things into the classroom. It just keeps adding up. So you'll see what's up, what, what's um, been added in the order they added it. Classwork is where you go if you want to see things a little more grouped together. But it'll be all of their assignments. This one doesn't have any in there. Uh, you won't have the ability to create. I do. But uh, all of your assignments will be posted together there. So you can either look through the stream, just like you would on like a social media feed, or you can come to classwork and um, uh, look at it there. When you get in there, you can do all of your assignments within there, depending on how your teacher has set it up. You can turn in your assignments that way. You can private message your teacher or within the program, or if you feel more comfortable, use email uh, how you normally have. Your teacher can grade everything in there, which means you can see it if they if when they return it to you. Um, most things then can be used through here. Uh, one thing to realize is that the moment your kid got entered into the Google Classroom, they also got a folder made in the drive, okay? This becomes important because it's the place where all of your stuff is being saved. It's the name of whatever the class is. It's also important because if, let's say, the teacher has you create your own copy of a worksheet, but you didn't finish it right away, please, please, please go to the folder to finish the assignment. If you just kept clicking in here, um, since the teacher said make a copy, I do not know if that's what will happen, but if that's how they set up the assignment. If you kept clicking there, you would just keep making more and more copies. If you have to leave something and go back in assignment, uh, depending on the assignment, you might be going in classroom. You might have to go look in the folder and drive. It just depends. Um, Meet has been integrated into Google Classroom. I do not know if your teacher will do that, but if your teacher uh, goes like live with a, with a video, um, they can use Meet and that acts as a um, way of doing some live lessons. So I think that's about it. If you have any other questions, this is my email address, emurray at ebrschools.org. Um, my duty is to be tech support through all this for both parents and for teachers. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much.